No power means no business here at Woodward Imperial in Ferndale. Wednesday's storms are still creating problems in the restaurant. Jeff King is co-owner. I mean, there's really not, nothing in here I can save. All the food in the fridge and everywhere else in the kitchen has to be thrown out. We've been doing really well for lunch and dinner, so financially this one's going to, uh, hopefully it's not that long. We can get it back up. He's only been open for six weeks, but being closed even for this one day is a loss of $7,000 in revenue alone. Power blew about 6.30, 7 o'clock last night. Uh, we were closed for the holiday anyway, and uh, so we've been scrambling around trying to solve a problem and see when we can get open. Down the street at AMRC Fine Jewelry Gift Gallery, the door is open, and even though it's hot in here, owner Zare Marcosian is still getting some business. You know, uh, it really doesn't bother me because if I allow it, uh, it'll take me somewhere else. But it's not just the stores and restaurants dealing without power. Even the police department is using a generator. And while things here are running smoothly, across the street, King is just hopeful he can get back to serving food soon instead of having to throw it out. We bring things fresh daily, so even if my power goes on at 930, I'm not going to have anything prepped or ready to serve for tomorrow night. So our best case scenario is if we get some power tomorrow, at least I can start the process of prep and, uh, and be ready to go for Saturday. In Ferndale, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News.